A lot of people think that if they've been involved in dependency, um, and then that is that if they have withdrawal or tolerance, that they absolutely need a detox. There are certain substances where that is crucial, and there's others where not so much. People have seen in the movies portrayed uh, a heroin uh, um, withdrawal, for example, is seen as particularly dangerous and, and horrific. Now, while it is true that it is a miserable process going through the detox, it's not medically dangerous in the same way that it is for two specific substances or classes, and that is alcohol and what we call benzodiazepines. And benzodiazepines are the anti-anxiety medications like Valium, Xanax, for example. What a lot of people don't realize, in fact, most of my clients that I see don't realize this, it is crucial, medically essential, that those people that have had a, uh, uh, an extended uh, involvement with those substances, and for alcohol, for example, if somebody, you know, national guidelines dictate that five or more drinks at any one time is considered a binge episode. I have a lot of clients that would consider five drinks a light drinking night. If somebody is engaged in even that much or, or more on a regular basis, or they've been regularly taking things like Xanax and Valium, as I've stated, it's essential that they get a medically supervised detox. And what that is is that as they go through the withdrawal symptoms and have the cravings, they have a doctor supervise using medications that ease those symptoms and make it a, a less abrupt impact on the nervous system. So as the body cleanses, they're able to do that safely. If they don't, they can have severe consequences, and those could be seizure, something we call delirium tremens DTs, where a person has psychotic uh, symptoms and they also are incredibly medically unstable. A shakiness is probably the lightest of it all, but somebody could have a heart attack, stroke out, and death is even possible. Other substances, and well, I should say this, uh, with heroin, again, a lot of people try it on their own and it's a very uncomfortable process even in a medically supervised detox. It's, I'm, not, I'm gonna say it's, it's difficult, it's challenging, but it's much easier to do in that, that uh, context.